Hey, lo siento. Hablas inglés? Oh, perfect. Cool. Uh, can I ask you a quick question? Sure. Cool. So the first one, uh, how well do you know him? I know him? Yeah. <laughs> He's a friend of friends, so I know him uh, since two days ago. Oh, okay. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, based on your interaction so far, would you say that he is more of an introvert or more of an extrovert? Oh, boy, that's, a good, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. I think introvert. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Introvert? Yeah, really? I think so, yeah. No? No, about him, I don't know about me, right? An extrovert, extrovert. Probably. So you think he's an extrovert? An extrovert. Okay, and would you say you're an extrovert or an introvert? That's a difficult question. It's relative, right? You, you, I think somewhere in between. Uh -huh. I cannot say totally, because I see extrovert people and they're just like crazy. Not not crazy. Yeah, but, me too. I but not introvert yeah. at all. No, I would. What about yourself? Yeah, I'm a bit more outgoing, You're I would say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So another question. Would you say that he is more professional or more serious? Or would you say he's more of a playful and silly person? Oh, I don't know you enough, man. I don't know. <laughs> Go for it. You know, it's fine. He's professional. I would give it for a patient. Yeah. I think you're playful. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Right. I agree. I agree. Uh, nice. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so uh, you'd say you're a bit of an ambivert and you'd say you're a bit of an extrovert. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you're uh, more of a judging type, so more goal oriented, and you are more of a play, uh, hobby oriented person. Yes, yes. Yeah? Yeah. What do you do for a job? I'm in UX. I do UX research. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I yeah. kind of do similar things. I do. I'm a programmer, so I also work a little bit with UX. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're a programmer. Yes, yes. Program. Right, right. And what's your hobby? Your favorite thing? Uh, CrossFit. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Do you have any hobbies? I like skiing. So I'm from Canada, so yeah, I do yeah. ski a lot over there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so how happy would you say that you are scale 1 to 10 today? Oh man, I mean, I'm just, I think I You're should be happy. I yeah. should be happy, even though I know I complain. Nine, nine and a half, nine and a half. Nine nine and a half. What about you, today? Very happy today. I, mean, I think we took the sangria, eh? Yeah, yeah, I've been here uh, in Barcelona for a few days. I love it here and uh, yeah, very happy here. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Canada. Canada, you? Canada, originally from Iran. Ah, okay. So you both decided to go on a trip to Barcelona. No, no, no. I, I live here. He's, uh, so we have visiting, a, he, yeah. he have a common friend who is in uh, Canada. So that's how we know it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So what's the uh, one thing that would make you happier today? Make me happy today. Things goes well. I don't know. Like, I don't know. What do you think? Well. So what do I think? Just like good, uh, good interactions with people. Yeah. Like this interaction. I love this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm all about like building relationships with like random strangers. I love this. So, um, yeah, this is making me happy. Yeah. I like this, yeah. That makes sense. As an extrovert, that uh, you would find it nice yeah, to yeah, be able to connect with happy, others. Yeah. yeah. I but think I see everyone happy is good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's actually been found also in scientific studies that uh, most people think that uh, if they would go up to a stranger to talk, that they would not like it. Uh, but most people in practice, if they did it, uh, come after, out of that situation much happier than they were before. 100%. So yeah. we often we underestimate how much social interaction can benefit our mood when done the right way, right? I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to forget this moment, you know, after. It's going to be like, oh man, remember this guy? So it's good. So uh, based on what you said so far, I got the idea that you were more of a perceiving type. And typically perceiving types, they like to go with the flow, they're more spontaneous, they're more adaptable. So would it make you happier today if you had a structured plan for everything oh, that was no, going no. to happen? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. And that's the reason that we're having sangria, yeah. we didn't plan it, right? Yeah. Yeah. We came out and he was singing about paella. Yeah. And then came, a side uh, ball came. And then, and then this came. So yeah. <laughs> for me, it's great. You yeah. know, it wasn't any structure. Yeah. And you, I thought you were a person that prefers to have more of a plan for what to do in a day and that usually, it could stress you. In that usually, one. yes, I would say usually. But then like this whole trip for me was quite uh, spontaneous. Yeah. So I do like this uh, side of me as well, like being more spontaneous. I'm trying to be like that even more. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> and what do you think is, is it some, some one better than the other or? No, honestly, it's, uh, it's about the balance of it. Because uh, if you're much more of a goal-oriented type, it's so easy that you get addicted to work and uh, that you get too serious about things sometimes, so you forget to relax. But of course, if you are too much of a, 
a playful type and go with the flow oriented type it can also happen sometimes that you feel like uh, yeah I don't do anything or achieve anything in my life and where am I going in a sense and I think I don't know what but I know you attract like but you in this case I also attract like the opposite so I had like I was actually in one moment very structured or not or uh, the life it was like make me be like that but I like people who were like very to the f like in the flow and like don't plan at all and I was like wow this is so great because it makes me also experiment that right but I, I agree I think it's a, a balance is, is is the key right to have both because the other way you just like doing <laughs> you just like you end up with day you're like shit <laughs> what happened you know and then next day comes next day comes so yeah yeah I, I so what would you say uh, is the biggest thing about life what's the most important things about life like, what are you trying to get out of this? <laughs> I think for me, uh, it's more about, again, just the relationships with other people. Like, yeah. the friends that you have, your network, your community, like, who you know and who you like and who you hang out with. So I just want to, like, be around people I like and just build new connections and relationships mm. and have these kind of moments of connections with, like, other people I love. This kind of uh, moments, yeah. You're kind of good on track because uh, the Harvard study on happiness suggests that uh, the number one biggest impactor on our happiness in general is relationships to other people, no matter who we are, almost. Uh, so how come you ended up in UX as a person that likes to be around people? Isn't uh, UX a little bit more introverted? Or? Uh, so I'm on uh, UX research, so I'm actually like, uh, my role is to connect with other people and just like get their input and like research on what their needs are and interview them and survey them. So I do work a lot with like random strangers with people. So that's actually the part I like about UX yeah. rather than like just programming and like being on a computer all the time. Yeah. Um, that's actually what kind of drew me uh, into the world of UX, yeah. And what about you? Like, what do you think life's all about? I think I totally agree with what he said. I think relationships are very important. Friendships. I think being in the moment, present, enjoy, I think that's that's the most important. Yeah. yeah. And you do programming, right? Pro yeah, yeah, I know. Programming is very, I think it's an introvert thing, right? Yeah. Actually, I think UX is more extrovert, right? Yeah, definitely, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it depends on you also. You could be a programmer who just like, just talk to everyone and just you know I think you can just from anything you can pretty much find that balance as yeah. you said so I don't think it I don't think I think you can yeah you can find it you know the way that it works or yeah. for I will say that uh, working in programming myself, uh, I often find that I am the most outgoing person of all the programmers and that uh, it's uh, often me being the person that initiates uh, conversations while other people are more like, yeah, want to focus on work and then go yeah. home and then uh, kind of be done with it in a sense. Uh, do you feel, uh, how do you feel at work? Do you feel like you get enough social interaction with work or do you feel well, like... It's also interesting you say, I see, you know, you see people who are in, in the extreme opposite right yeah. or like very in the other side or it could be very introvert and it's interesting to see them because you know everyone is different so i think it's it's the way that it should be because if everyone was for example in the other extreme then we probably would have missed and we wouldn't even know what the other side would be right mm. you know what i mean like as in i think the balance is good like in general like to, you you need you need all of that so it has to be it's like a reminder right it's like oh you should maybe be more structured because you're <laughs> so much in this way or you should be like taking it easy. Yeah. So do you feel like you get enough at work or do you feel like... Uh... Well, as a human, you always look for something better, right? So it's, it's, it's hard. Like now I say it, but I know like, you know, tonight I'm going to be like, yeah, like if it, this was this way, it would have been better. We should change this. We should change this. So it's, it's hard. Your boss isn't watching this. No, it's always, right? <laughs> you, for me, it's, it's the same. It's like I want something, I get it, and then I'm like unhappy again. And then you want, but it's like human, right? You just always want, you're always looking for something else. And I think that's the key, like to be satisfied or happy with what you have and that's like the great uh, gratitude and stuff all. I think it's it's always good like reminder hey man everything is good don't worry yeah. it's always good to get better and improve but what you what everything is it meant to be what it is right I will say that uh, happiness researchers uh, say there's nothing wrong with wanting to grow or wanting things to be different uh, they say the three most important things to have in life are of course happiness meaning 
and lastly growth right so if we're not feeling like we are making growth and changes often it doesn't feel that great like yeah you can be happy and not have any growth and you still feel like something's missing or you can be happy but not do anything meaningful and still feel like there's something more you want to have with life so we kind of need all these three of these things in order to really feel like things are going right so uh, of course, like being able to see how things can be improved and to think of how things could be different and to pursue that and try to actively make that happen, that's a good thing, right? But maybe for you it's that you sometimes get too critical or negative about things and that you sometimes find it hard to appreciate uh, things exactly. for what they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, then, and then it's that moment where you need like the reminder, like, hey, you know, that's, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it reminds me of, I don't know if you watched the, the documentary on Netflix called uh, Minimalist. I've seen it, I think. Watched? No, I haven't. No? Seen it. Okay. Well, I, it's a pretty interesting one. It's like how you could simplify your life and it, how it suddenly brings like happiness. Yeah. And it's like with the like, life that the, the world, well, like, the economy wants, is like, you know, you just have to like buy stuff, get stuff and just... Uh, you know like have stuff own stuff but then it's like it's saying like how having less is more something like that and then it's like for me it's how interesting because it's like oh wow you could really live like some simple life and really enjoy and how if you when, whenever you make your life complicated in any way even I think more friends like anything that is more sometimes it becomes like you know less you know? Yeah. so the other way I also see the appeal of minimalism. Uh, so uh, I also watched a uh, lot document documentaries on it and read books on it and started to put that to practice in my life uh, because I realized that in many ways I like to make things big. Like I wanted to think that, you know, I have to, you know, make major improvements every year. I have to constantly get closer to my goals. I have to get more things. I have to travel more. I have to go do more in a sense. And I could say how that led to a like permanent state of dissatisfaction, right? Where it's like, yeah, you never, you never have the time to enjoy what you have because you're constantly thinking of like what's next and how, what should be in a sense. Exactly. Yeah, I know. And I have a lot of friends like that who are like, you know, you're sitting here and it's like, Okay, so what do we do now? Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> it's like okay, we are like, having this, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, always like, what's next? What's next? And I agree. Yeah. It's, it's interesting to see, you know, that's what I'm saying. To see all that, you know, the uh, spectrum. The spectrum exactly. yeah. How do you feel like you managed to live uh, according to that minimalistic philosophy? Or why do you think you, it's hard for you to live according to that? Yeah. So what's the question again? Sorry. Why, why, why is it hard for you to live as a minimalist? What, what makes it hard to be satisfied? Uh... What do you think I makes us think keep cream? That's no. the first no, thing. That's I know a few. I, uh, I would say I, I like stuff. I would say like I like the collecting stuff. I would say. <laughs> I, I'm not you, don't <laughs> you don't like collecting stuff. But at the same time, I would say I think uh, the minimalism kind of uh, way of life is also kind of becoming a trend, and then with that trend is also coming a certain way of like even like collecting minimalist stuff, which like leads to even collecting more stuff like you have to buy this coffee table or this i don't know like coffee maker who looks minimalist but you have to have it unless or otherwise you're not going to be considered a minimalist because it doesn't like look cool um so i think it's more than to like remember that like sometimes there is media and marketing around like a new concept like minimalist yeah. uh, concepts and uh, ux as well yes i mean i i'm in that industry i know like myself included and also like some of my co-workers we are into all these like beautiful like clean designs and like these cute little kind of objects that we buy but then we're just collecting more and more stuff to look cool to look minimalist but i think that's kind of in contradiction with the idea of minimalist yeah. design or minimalist like life so yeah i wouldn't say i'm a minimalist i'm trying to be but uh, yeah <laughs> so it sounds like here what you're saying is we have to find the right way to be a minimalist too, like yeah. because we can easily be a marketing ploy that you fall into in a sense. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, what would you say? Uh, okay, so it sounds like to me you don't really see a big appeal in minimalism as an idea. You like to collect stuff. Uh, like, what do you feel like uh, when you get new things? How do you feel when you buy new things? I uh, actually want to make sure I uh, like get rid of the stuff I don't need first yeah. before I get any new things. So if you think about, I don't know, like getting a new, like cool and interesting and nice, let's say, coffee maker or a coffee table, I make sure I get rid of the old one first. 
So I'm not just like collecting stuff for the sake of collecting them. Yeah. So in that sense, you could say I'm a minimalist, but uh, I do like like cool designs. I like it, <laughs> but again, like uh, once I get new clothes, I kind of donate or get rid of my old clothes. Um, so yeah. I'm not just like collecting things that I will not use. So. Yeah. I understand. Uh, I want to say uh, thank you both so much for this interview. Uh, it's really nice talking with you.